we are at Beaver Falls in Corvallis, Oregon to play 18 holes of mini golf using spizzy balls. Spizzy balls are hypnotic hyper bouncing balls with crazy spin to make putting more difficult. Today's matchup, we have Heather versus Tyrell in an 18 hole stroke play competition where the loser receives a punishment. Hole one is a two path par two with a hill to the right and a rock to the left. Friendly bounce, not so friendly roll. Heather would attempt to use the hill to her advantage, but struggled early. Nope. Showing how tricky these balls really can be. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> if that had been a hole in one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, getting used to the ball. Okay. After warming up on the practice green, Tyrell starts off hot with a par. Hole two is a right to left slope into one of two logs for a hilly look at the hole. No wind. Mm. Oh, it went the right. Oh, there it goes. What is this? What is it? <laughs> Way too hard. And after that great start, nope. I uh, follow it up with a disappointing second hole. Oh. <laughs> Left hole. It trickled out. Okay. Still gives you a nice shot for a two. Yeah. Oh! And just like that, Heather ties the game back up already. We could be in store for another good game. Hole three is a fairly straight par two through a log and a stump. Oh no. It's gonna keep rolling too. It just goes. It's too light. I'll take it. I hate these balls already. <laughs> Both Heather and myself failed our par putts, scoring a bogey and maintaining the tie. Hole four is a left to right downward slope towards a stump. The hole can be found slightly under the back part of the stump, making for a very hard hole. Wait a minute. You got a line at the hole. That's a nice shot. But it's not terrible. Oh, that's not terrible. Yay! Okay. <laughs> got it. She's gonna hit it. Hope for the best. Yeah. Well, 
With no clear line at the hole, my best option was to lay up for the three and move on to the next hole. Stop. It just keeps going. There we go. Worst hole on the course as of yet. With both of us scoring bogeys, we maintained the tie into the next hole. What do you think of this fizzy ball so far, Heather? Oh my god, they suck. <laughs> the lightest touch and they just go flying everywhere. I hate them too. <laughs> hole 5 is a long, uphill to downhill dog leg left towards the hole with a rock formation blocking the middle path halfway through. Okay, so the main trick is going to be to round the corner, I feel like. It stayed up. Oh, nice putt. Okay. <laughs> Hard enough to down the hill? It's not down the hill, but it's got a nice lineup. <laughs> oh, the rock! There we go! Oh! Now, with both of us scoring par, we continue to maintain the tie, but for how long? Hole 6 is a roundabout into a pipe which leads to a lower level for a look at the hole. Nice pot. Oh! Don't do me like this. Go in the hole at least. Uh, oh! Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to go on the right one actually. The right one's better. Okay. Wow. Three. All right. Heather and I continue to tie every hole. Someone has to take the lead at some point, right? Hole seven is a long par two with multiple drop offs and rocks blocking paths. Nice three. Very nice. <laughs> that's a really good, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Perfect. Right here. It seems like they always go right, so if I aim to the left side of the cup. Hmm. Nope. Oh. That was pretty good. Graced it. It was good if I made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey! With the help of a Christmas tree, Tyrell continues to maintain pace with Heather. Hole 8 is a downhill dog leg right towards the hole with an unintentional water hazard to the left. 
Maybe the rock will be an advantage to bounce off of it. You want behind the rock? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no. If that went in, I would have vomited. Oh. We both score pars yet again maintaining our tie. Hole 9 is a short par 2 with a slight right to left slope and three wooden objects near the hole. Nice two. Okay, I'm gone. That's a long two. Nope. Ah. Tyrell failed his par putt, which finally breaks the tie halfway through. You got the lead, Heather. Heather has a one-stroke lead into the back nine, but it's still anyone's game. This might be a nail-biter, Heather. I'm just keeping it interesting. Hole 10 is a two-path par two with a ramp to the left and two rocks blocking the middle path towards the hole. Rolling, though. It does. <laughs> nope. Oh. Like rolled over it. It's still rolling though. It's still rolling. Okay. Three. <laughs> Bounced over. That's good. It only took one hole for Tyrell to tie this game back up. Could he continue this momentum? Hole 11 is a small ramp over an out-of-bounds grate with a rock blocking the middle path halfway through and a rock to the right near the hole. I hit that way too hard. Oh, the rock. Ready for it, Heather? Oh, okay, maybe. Oh my god. It worked! <laughs> oh, that, that's good. That's still good. Okay. That's still really good. Nope. Oh, always a wrong end. Oh. Wait a minute. Nope. Ba -ba. For the first time since hole one, Tyrell has taken the lead. How will Heather respond? Hole 12 is another pickup pipe par two, which leads to a lower level for a look at the hole. You thought last shot was nice? Wait till you see this. Nope. Nope. 
Oh, always. It didn't take long for Tyrell to potentially throw away his lead. It started out so nice. <laughs> Try the course. Okay. <gasps> no. <laughs> okay, don't mess up. Okay. I guess I should have stayed on the course. <laughs> the course is the way to go. And in just one hole, Heather didn't just eliminate Tyrell's lead, she took the lead back. Hole 13 is a short par 2 featuring two logs midway through. Spot. Back to where you were. Retry. Disappointing. <laughs> With both of us missing our par putts, Heather maintains her one stroke lead. It's still close game, but uh, who do you think has a better Christmas sweater? Hmm. Meowie Christmas? Or a llama? Llama. Come on. Which everybody, one? Everybody loves cats. Hole 14 is a slight uphill par 2 with a log tunnel in the middle lane. Ah, uh, bad bounce off the... Santa, oh, wait a minute. The friendly roll. Tyrell got distracted by a fake fish, resulting in Heather gaining another stroke on Tyrell, now up two with four holes remaining. Hole 15 is a downhill slope over a bridge with an out-of-bounds grate to the right and the hole located behind the rock. that did not go in. Llama. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. that was uh, something. Well, still going. Okay, it's lined up. Got it. Oh my God. And with that putt, Tyrell eats at Heather's lead, now only one with three holes remaining. Hole 16 is a dog leg left with an unintentional water hazard to the right near the hole. Yep. 
still a water hazard, but I'll take it. Oh, one. it is. Went around the rock. So bound. Okay. Nice. And just like that, we have another tie coming down to the final two holes. Hole 17 is a short par two with a rock to the right and a hill to the left midway through. Just a little bit too fast. By a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Go left. That is further right. Yeah. Ah. Nope. It never goes the way you want it to. Take the slope. Yeah, maybe it'll be uh, to my advantage. Ooh. Oh. Nice putt. All right. Heather takes advantage of Tyrell's poor putting, taking a one stroke lead into the final hole. Hole 18 is a long par 3 with three wooden objects blocking different parts of the hole throughout. That's not good for me. Nope. Oh! oh. You're opening the door for me. The possibility. Nope. Heather. I had it lined up beautifully. Heather would fall apart at the worst possible time, leaving Tyrell plenty of strokes to win the game. Now, can he do it? I don't know what to say. I don't care. Well. Door is open. You messed this up too, so I gotta play it careful. Nope. And it's running too. <laughs> it's still going. I knew I still had two shots to still win this thing, so I wanted to play it safe. That last hole didn't feel like a win. <laughs> Heather saved her worst hole for last, allowing Tyrell to squeak by for the victory. Heather couldn't finish out, making her today's big loser. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I bought a bottle of ranch dressing soda. For Heather's punishment, she must drink this gross soda. Alright, is it twist? It is twist. Ooh, look at that steam. Ooh, it really hits you at the back end. Um, full body. Yeah, it's ranch. It tastes like <laughs> ranch. <laughs> it has a good, so like it's carbonated. It has a good burn at the very beginning. It's like, this is pop. And then it's like, boom. It's ranch. <laughs> so, I would say, uh, no thank you on uh, any more. 